I told you guys that I was going to do a conversion by doing some changes with this stove into a different formation, different way, stronger way, you know, something with more durability and stuff. So, you don't know, stay tuned for that video. Okay? God is love. people see the mirror yeah? very important this is what these two thing is what adjust the flame if you want like for example suppose yes you, you, you get the stove and it start to burn red flame you use this to do the adjustments onto the the the, the, the um the burner itself which is this okay yeah man so you see the olm you know it fits like this. You understand, people? Fit like this. So you move it, you adjust for the amount of um, oxygen to flow in here to do the mixture to get the blue flame. People, this is another technical part of the job. As you see, this is the face plate that is gonna be here. Okay. Um, this is gonna be just like this. Here. And um I've reached a stage where it gets more technical. So I'm going to do a cut here, I'm going to do a cut here, take out piece and carry this side closer and then use this, these adjusted strap to belt the rubber in between and hold the pipe between, you know, here. So I'm going to cut. Take out piece like about um I'm gonna take out about three about two and a half inches out of it and carry this piece up close so that when this one is centered here I also get this one centered right here okay
very technical. Have to be very careful with this hen because you don't want any of the the dust from the cutting, you know, to get inside here and cause a blockage coming back through this area. So I have to be careful. I'm gonna use the file to kind of barely rub around it. People, I want to get these holes in the prop, well, the correct area on this piece of flat sheeted metal. Right? I get a bicycle spokes. A bicycle spokes, and I just rub the head of it here to get it flat. So I'm going to use these, this um, nail polish and just tip at the head of it like this place this here the switch place it down in the hole try to make a mark on the plating so that you can know where to bore now I can see where to bore people I'm gonna do the other side now so as I told you I'm gonna I'm trying to make a um, a spot you know what I mean so that I can know where to bore to place this so that I can bolt up this onto the flat sheeted. So right now, I have this wire, the spokes, and you can see if you can look closely see the paint on it, which is the Q-Tex, or the nail polish, I should say. So, um, make it there. So I'm able to know where I'm going to bore. So, yes, I can see a visual spot here and there. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I'm going to bore where I see those two paint spots. Well, I just take the nail and tap it. So I'm gonna drill now. gonna find out if I the screw will go in after ream some more because it's not the same size the bit and the screw is not the, on the same size now the screw go in screw going to this one as well people you see now I make another cut here okay um, don't want it to, to be too sharp yeah and people if in case any dust should get into it and cause any blockage with the gas spitting out from the nozzle here. Um, 
I can clean that part with a needle. People, I'm going to cut a piece of this was. Just was. Two and a half inch. I'm going to cut to do the joining for ear so. Because I don't have a touch. I don't have any um, acetylene to do the welding here. So I'm going to use a hose to do the join instead. And whenever time, when we finish <laughs> join it, I'm going to just, um, when we fit up everything and have the gas to turn on, I'm going to just make some soap water to spray on it or chew on it to see if I will see any bubbles. And if I'm getting any bubbles, that will tell me that I'm having a leak. See here guys, I'm screwing up now. So I'm locking the, the, the hose over the pipe tubing.
people that just finish welding up this thing, um, this pot stand, whatever. Both of them clean up and file up and grind up. So this one now, as you see here, it's quite simple to pull out. Simple. I'm gonna use them back in, in a different project someday. Now you can see the stove here. That is it, people. This is the semi final of this double burner stove. You see in the first part of the video where it was. You see a video on my channel from when I bought it and bring it into the workshop. So you don't know we have a this video is a semi final video, so we have a next video. If you finish up and you see the beauty of it and everything okay stay tuned people <laughs> um i have another correction first and foremost i must let you guys know that um it's the first time converting one of these okay and um as i said it is better to be fair and honest with my viewers and subscribers yeah because a lot of people doing videos and they make errors and they're not sure you say they make errors they're not sure you say it's like it perfect for the first time I'm, them approach it it perfect for, you know for them make but me i show no coming not perfect um i don't have the gas cylinder with me right now it is done by my house so anyway um i connect up the gas cylinder to this regulator and turn it on and everything and when I rest the pot on top of it the flame come up and start to burn here let me take it off and take off this and sit there start to burn because once the pot go on to the go on top of it the fire tend to spread because it bounces on the, on the bottom of the pot and spread out so it start to spread and burn here and it smells because it is paint you know so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the sheet metal as a template, but I'm going to, I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to design something different along with this for it to work as well. So um, this piece would be in it again and I'll just do it like this, you know. You know, understand what I mean. So stay tuned, see me because remember... If I try to build the second one from this tool, I will not make any mistake because I already make all the mistakes on this and do the, all the corrections. Okay? All right.
finishing touch people better stronger and will last longer so stay tuned for the cook People, as you can see, this stove, the conversion of this stove from the beginning to the end. Yeah, it is a little bit narrow from one end to the other. It's a little bit narrow. The other, the other one was wide enough that you have a, a space in between, like about this. You understand? So, you don't know, as I said, stay tuned for the cook. Guys, right now I'm preparing some chicken food soup with chicken back in it and all these things. So here we are going now. I cook, I pressure it onto this side of the burner. Now I'm going to use this side of the burner because I want my viewers and subscribers to know that, you know, it is active. You understand? See the flame? I don't know if you can see it good. Is it? See the flame, people? Yeah, man. Stove active, man. That's a duck ants nest, people. Dangerous ants them right now. Miss them. We live like a yard apart. We live like a yard apart from my yard. Different from the workshop. And me see like them out for take up my house. Cause me notice like them dip on the ground like against the wall. And every time I move, like we take the cutlass and move it. Because them have a way enough to cover themselves and you know, make a track, you know. Like a tunnel, you know. On the wall, you know. So... Every time I move the tunnel and throw water the animal thing, then build it back in space of one night or one day time or maybe about a couple of hours. Like me do it from, like say, suppose me disturb them from about say 6 o'clock in the evening. By tomorrow morning, they make it back again so they work throughout the night and them things are dangerous because they eat on the lumber them up in the roof and all them things. So, I see this nest over my yard and it was surprising to me because it's been a while I don't come underneath this tree for really acknowledge it and notice it because it is a cherry tree seen and this cherry tree has um different type of it is like it is like it in graph it own self because we see a different type of tree grow from the limb itself you know look look guys look look there look here guys Because them end up a run out of the nest. You understand? So them now don't have to go. So them so them heap up right up there, sir. Now people I'm gonna add some pumpkin, carrots and Irish 
and also um what them call it one cho cho in the pot now Now, if people don't remember them days, you know. Oops. Yeah, man, enough people don't remember them days, yeah. Life change and turn around for them. So, they don't have to eat this again, you know. There are some people turn them back on them kind of life, yeah, here. But, I want to me learn in life. Never forget where you're coming from. Never. Yeah, here. Never. I mean, never will forget dumping and butter. Come and go through them life, they're already rough. You hear that? No joke. Yeah, man. Mm hmm. People, I see the stove. It finished, you know. I eat that. When you remember where it was before and where it is coming from to now, yeah, man. Industrial stove, that's a mini industrial stove. Okay? Yeah, man. Mini industrial stove. See that? Say so if you don't want to use these, you can always just use it like that, you know? Yeah man, no joke. So using this sheeted metal prevent like I say on the video that I when I was cooking the soup, I see a lot of water splashing and thing. I want to prevent water from getting to here. Right down between the selector switch here and the um the ignition, the lighter right there. Okay. So you don't know and the finishing that people and at first it was very challenging as simple as you want to see it as simple as a seat look but I had was to overcome because anything I try to fix and if I fix it that means it is not good okay yeah man I eat that people one love every time. Thumbs up the video, people. And share out the video. You know what I mean? Tell another, tell another friend. Another friend, tell another friend. Another friend, tell him mother and him father about the channel. Same with Oliver's Metal Fabrications. And cooking. Yeah, man. So you don't know. Watch out for the next video. It will go epic. Peace out. Love every time. God over everything. Bless. Greetings to you. Greetings to you, all my viewers and subscribers. I love us metal fabrications and cooking. Yes, people, the cooking of the soup. The video wasn't about the cooking of the soup. The video was about the performance of the stove. And based upon where I carry that stove from to now, 
the stove end up become a monster it's powerful it works fairly well and i just want you guys to know that if in case anybody out there want to convert their stove something like this i can do it my number is 784 27 48 you get that peace out love every time like subscribe and share your friend tell another friend about the channel the channel is not a joking channel the channel is about creating things make things happen cook some food feed nice drink a red stripe and chill god is love every time you feel me up okay.